it's Jenna. So today I'm going to be doing an office slash photography studio tour and I'm so excited. I did a desk tour a couple months ago and I got a lot of great feedback so I'm really excited to show you guys my entire office. Some things have changed since the desk tour so let's just get started. We're here in the sitting area. So both of these chairs I've had for a long time and I decided they would fit really well in here. So I'll just give you guys an overview of this area. So one of the first things that you see is this little table. I got the lamp at Ikea. Both of these are vintage cameras. I've got my DIY diptyke candles and a fake rose back there. And then I have a couple of planners and notebooks and Grace's Guide, which is one of my favorite books. And then I've got a globe and some sunglasses down there, just as kind of some decor. And if you actually scroll up, this is actually a gallery wall that I put together. I got all the prints at Hobby Lobby and I got the frames at Ikea. So in total, it was only about 40 bucks to do that entire wall of gallery. Moving over here, I have one of my little tables from Ikea and my brand new slash old uh, typewriter that I got from my aunt. It was my grandma's and my mom used it in college and I absolutely love having it in okay, here. Okay, so this is actually my photography studio. So I've got two lights. They're actually not on right now, but it kind of looks like it. I've got my reflector, my table, and my other light. I'll zoom in out down here as well. So down here I have my iPad, my old laptop that doesn't work anymore, and I have Back to the Future, which I just watched because it was Back to the Future Day. So this is where I do a lot of my photography. I actually have a fake marble desktop. It's kind of bright, so you can't really see it, but it is fake. So at the top of my bookshelf is some books, my piggy bank with my name on it, and a anchor book holder that I got at Target. Moving down, I've got a fake Eiffel Tower, some roses, an antique purse, and a box that holds all of my thank you notes. Going down, I have some Bibles and some other books, and this awesome DIY. Uh, I haven't actually shown you guys this DIY, but this is a hashtag light, and I just put some scrap of paper in there. That was from Target. Going down, I have some more books and Cards Against Humanity, which is one of my favorite games more books and I got my yearbooks and then just some other folders. Moving over, we actually have a calendar that I don't use very often and my headphones. I've also got this awesome cart from Ikea. And again, I'll have all the links below so you guys, if you wanna buy one of these, you can do that. Um, this is actually a basket I got at Ikea. It holds more of my props and stuff that I use. I got a planner in there, some straws, fake flowers, etc. Then in the middle one I have a lot of craft supplies. I actually got the container at Ikea as well. It separates everything out. And even more craft supplies down here. I've got some fake letters, I've got some fake flowers, I've got chalkboard, paint stuff, um, lots of spray paint. So this is just a really great way to store all of your craft supplies. If you don't have a lot of space, it's a really cute little cart. I think it's only about 30 bucks now. It used to be about 70 when I bought it. So it's really inexpensive as well. Moving on to my desk. I actually have redone this since I did my last video. It's a lot cleaner and there's not as many things on it. So the desk is from Ikea. Down here I have this rug from Home Goods and a little recycling bin. So on the desk, I have this lamp from Target. I have this adorable little spiky ball that I got at Hobby Lobby. I got this little gold rimmed bowl from Target. I got the day designer from Target as well. This pink macaroon I got on Amazon. The Mac obviously I got from Apple. I got this uh, mouse from Amazon as well. Um, a lot, all this gold stuff, the gold scissors and the gold stapler I got from Target. I actually spray painted this Target pair that I got gold. I got both the flowers and the jar from I think Hobby Lobby and Michaels. The to-do list I got from Michaels and the pen I got from Target I believe and the uh, gold tape dispenser I got from Hobby Lobby and this is just the latest issue of 17 magazine that I have not read. So 
that is the right side. Again, I did a dust tour of this, so I'm not gonna explain everything that's in here. If you wanna check that out, I will have it linked below and I will explain where I got all of this stuff from. So that's this side of the drawer. And the other side, I've actually gotten some new stuff since the last dust tour, including some of these uh, gold Kate Spade paper clips. I've gotten a lot of just gold stuff in general. Again, watch that. If there's any questions about something specific, you can leave it in the comments and I will let you know where it's from. Moving over, so this is this little thing that I got at Target. Um, you can also get these at Ikea. Down here I just have a couple magazines. And I'll start at the top. So here I have in a Chesapeake Bay candle in vanilla pumpkin that I got at Target. I made the coaster underneath it. Um, then I have a cute little pencil case that I got at Ikea with a bunch of pencils. I got this fake roses at Hobby Lobby with a vase. I got this pumpkin in the dollar section at Target. And then I got this gold mug from a used store with a bunch of pencils. And I got this white erase weekly planner from uh, typo, which is a store at the Mall of America near me. All right, so over here I have two little things. One I got at a dollar store and the other one I got at Target. I'm not sure which one I got at which. The middle mug I got at Hobby Lobby. No, I got that one at Home Goods. So I keep some lipsticks in there that I use as props. I got these makeup brushes on Amazon. I got this little Chanel number no. five idea from Sparkly Blonde One on YouTube. I just printed off that and then used a sticker to just stick that on with sticker paper and this little, I'm not sure where I got, the glass jar. And then I have this random box from Ikea and a fake candle from Michaels. Down here I have another box from Ikea as well as this little soap box I got from my mom from the dollar store or used store. I've got my library books, a candle with a candle holder from the candle holders from Kohl's and the candles from Bath and Body Works. And I got this shoe tape dispenser from a used store as well. But I think you can actually buy those at like Office Max. I've got another box with some fake rolls, or actually they're real rolls of camera footage, but they're used. Another box full of my camera cases, and that is this shelf right here. Moving over, I have my router and my trash over here, and then I have this cabinet that I put some gold circle stickers on, and I've got my autumn leaf thing around. So this is actually storage for all my camera stuff. I'm not going to go through all this because it's a lot of just technical stuff that I use. i got a backpack, extra batteries, extra SD cards. I've got a lot of tripods, monopods, all that stuff down here. So this is just a basic drawer. So I keep a lot of this stuff away from being seen because it's just a lot of stuff that's not fun to look at. Okay, and then lastly I have this map of the U.S. It is in the shapes of license plates and I got that at Michael's. I've got a bunch of scrapbook paper and stickers in this box I got from the container store as well as this adorable little canvas art that I got at Target. Over here behind this I have all of my files and my file folders that I got at Target and then I have some those the same DIY dip tight candles that I made as well as some jars from um, Ikea. And then down here, I've actually redone this. These are all of my props for my stock photography. I finally found a good place to put them and it's in here. So I just kind of grab things when I need them and they're kind of cute and all over the place. So that's where I keep everything. And then down here, I have more camera stuff because I couldn't fit everything in that closet. So more camera stuff. Down here I have just some file folders that I don't use all the time. And then back here I have my step stool that I use for my stock photography. I'll hopefully be able to show you guys right now a before photo. It used to be this terrible green setup 
it was disgusting and it, I just we finally took it down repainted we got some carpet and it just looks so much better than before I'm really lucky that my parents let me have this room that I work here during the day um, as I get to work from home so it's always nice to have a great office to be inspired and I absolutely love it so I'm so glad you guys watched this video let me know in the comments what you want to know about this office if there's anything in particular and what video I should do next thank you guys so much and have an awesome day bye